I'm Natalie Jaro, President and CEO of Second Harvest Food Bank of Greater New Orleans in Acadiana. Since our founding in 1982 by Archbishop Hannon and Bishop Morin, we've grown our ministry and now we are feeding more than 200,000 people every year through South Louisiana. In just this last year, our staff and volunteers have done some incredible things. A major portion of our annual poundage comes from local retail partners. In the last year, we received 12.3 million pounds of donated product from local retailers. And through our partnerships with retailers, the food industry, and farmers, we collected 6 million pounds of fresh produce. When the Produce Marketing Association had their convention in New Orleans this year, we mobilized more than 150 volunteers to help collect 300,000 pounds of top quality fruits and vegetables. Our staff and volunteers collected this incredible donation and had it distributed to community partners in under 48 hours. The Kids Cafe program prepared and delivered 186,000 meals and 202,000 snacks to 51 after school programs. These programs provide a safe place for students to study and Second Harvest provides the meals and snacks to each site at no charge. We also prepared 66,000 meals and 31,000 snacks for our summer feeding program. These daily deliveries to 80 locations like summer camps and libraries help feed children who might not get a nutritious meal when school is out. For our Senior Cafe program, our staff and volunteers prepared and distributed over 12,893 meals to 6,015 seniors at 14 different sites. These senior meals require extra planning for the menus because of health considerations like diabetes and high blood pressure. We partner with 30 organizations across 16 parishes to provide SNAP assistance. In fiscal year 17, that translated to 1,200 SNAP applications, making possible 1.4 million meals. Mobile Pantry is when our trucks bring loads of, of food to neighborhoods without traditional pantries. Working with 36 community partners, these mobile pantries provide 2.5 million pounds of food this year. Our staff partnered with 87 agencies to provide Cooking Matters nutrition education to 1,700 local residents. Nutrition education comes in many different forms. It can be a cooking class or a food distribution where we provide nutrition-related games or nutrition information, recipes, recipe booklets, food demonstrations and things like that. This was a huge year for volunteers. More than 9,000 unduplicated volunteers worked 19,000 shifts. That's more than 60,000 volunteer hours, which is equivalent to 29 full-time staff members. We simply would not be able to accomplish our mission without these incredible people who work in our repack room, warehouse, kitchen, and offices. One of those thousands of people is Mr. Dale, one of our regular volunteers who has been with us for a long time. I came here going on three years ago and I was told about this place by my neighbor who is a graduate and she had to do some volunteer work and I asked her, has she ever volunteered anywhere that you liked? And she said, yes, the Second Harvest Kitchen. So that Monday I came over, met with the volunteer organizer, and she took me on a tour. And I went through the warehouse, cold storage, free, the freezer, and I said, take me to the kitchen. It was immaculate for an old Marine. It was very rewarding coming in here and seeing the cleanliness of the place and the spirit of all the volunteers, which is what is behind me now is volunteers and we're just having a good time, knowing it's going for a good cause. And one of the rewarding things was, uh, on the end line, he comes in on Tuesdays and Thursdays, a man by, by the name of Julius. We came to find out that we served in Vietnam. He was 90 miles apart. He was in the Army and I was in the Marine Corps. And I like working with him. He's very good. He's very been here longer than me. Uh, I had a son, he died of cancer at 14 and 91, and one of the things he needed was platelets. Uh, it was the summer of 14, I gave my 100th donation, I'm working toward my 200th donation, 
and anything I can do for kids, I'll be there. Thank you to Mr. Dale and all of our volunteers. Woo! We have increased our efficiency to the point that every dollar spent can provide four meals. In fact, 96 and a half cents for every dollar raised goes directly to our programs to fight hunger. The Second Harvest Backpack Program delivered 81,000 pounds of kid-friendly food to 655 children. Students can take home this extra food to have nutritious meals across the weekend. In the fiscal year that ended in June, we distributed 1.7 million pounds of disaster supplies. Additionally, our staff and volunteers collected and delivered hundreds of thousands of pounds of supplies this fall to victims of Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria in Louisiana, Texas, Florida, and Puerto Rico. This is Resurrection Parish, and we've been distributing food uh, and other supplies for the people who have been hit by the tornado last week. Well, Second Harvest has been a great partner because they've been able to bring food and now hot meals out because people have been uh, without power and not been able to restock their pantries, so it's made a big difference. And particularly now, people are going back to work and still not quite able to have time and energy to cook, so this has made a big difference. And it just really ripped through this neighborhood just uh, within the block of the church and all the way across this part of the east uh, for about two miles. It's made a, a, a cut a huge swath in, in this area, so it's the, the, the food and other supplies have made a big deal for these people. Definitely, Catholic Charity and Second Harvest go back a long ways and always work well together. Our school pantries distributed nearly 400,000 pounds of food to 24 schools, serving more than 2,000 families in need. We're incredibly proud of our staff and volunteers for making more than 34 million meals available to people in need through South Louisiana, but we're really only halfway to where we need to be. Feeding America estimates that 70 million meals are needed annually by those at risk of hunger across our 23 civil parish service area. And while we have made some improvements on our facility, much more remains to be done. We have made limited repairs to part of our roof, but we still need new roofing on the remaining 150,000 square feet. A critical area of need continues to be our office space. Our staff has adjusted to working in tight quarters, but we are beyond capacity in our current arrangement. To achieve our long-term plans will be hard, but very doable. Our people do amazing work with the infrastructure we have, but we will be able to do so much more in a modern, efficient facility. In addition to the major improvements we have planned our facility, we absolutely must increase the capacity and efficiency of our more than 700 community partners. We need to be able to give these vital partners the food, tools, and training they need to get the aid to those who need it the most. 